Hey guys, Tim here with Red Wing RC again. And uh, once again, we're back with the Power HD DS090 servo. Uh, this time around, I'm going to do a test against a higher class servo, the High Speed 7985NG. Um, this high tech servo is rated at about 170 ounces of torque and a 13 second response time. It's, it's a very high quality servo, and there's no doubt in my mind that it's a, a quality servo. Uh, I've got them both hooked up to the same receiver and battery, uh, both hooked up to the aileron channel and trimmed out to be in uh, close line with our lines. We'll do a, a speed test, a uh, resolution test, and the, uh, the torque test. So let's go ahead and see how they fare. Let's go ahead and do a resolution test here. And I'm simply going to move slowly and see if uh, both servos seem to move in a uh, nice even gradation. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test. And the Power HD is rated at about 0.11 second response time, while the high tech is rated at uh, 0.13 seconds. So the Power HD is rated a little higher to start. Uh, so we'll just see which one moving in one direction and then the other. You can see the Power HD has a, a slight jump on reaching the finish line. Let's go ahead and do a quick centering test here. You can see where they line up now, and I'll move one direction and let go. You can see they both snap back pretty good to their original position. So once again, pay attention to where they're sitting now. They both seem to be centering pretty well. This will be something I'll be able to see better when I get in video and you guys will probably be able to see better than I'm able to right now through the camera. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and first do the test that everyone wants to see and that's uh, the torque. See which one of these is stronger. Uh, I've got some large bolts, an empty bucket. Uh, I'm going to set the bucket on the same spacing on each servo, so the one inch mark, and I'll measure over here and put it in the same spot. I'm going to start one bolt at a time, each weighing about two and a half ounces. Uh, put one in the bucket, see if it can lift it. That's one, then two, and we'll keep going until it can't. Two bolts. Throw in the wrench. You can see it's still staying strong and really seems to be lifting a little stronger than the, uh, the high tech. So uh, I guess we'll do a, a tiebreaker here. Well, I don't have much in the way of weight, so I went ahead and found a small sledge. I'm going to put that in the bucket first and start there. And I'm going to add two at a time here. So two, four, Six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Can't lift it, we'll go back to 17. Still can't lift it, go back to 16. Barely, okay. So we were right about 16 uh, bolts plus the sledgehammer when the Power HD guys stopped. Starting with the sledge, two at a time, and we stopped at 16, was the last one that the Power HD was able to do. Here's two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Barely, 18, just barely. I'm not gonna push it anymore, but you can see the uh, the Power HD did almost as well as about a bolt or two short of equal performance. Now this time around, I went with a A123 battery, unregulated, so they were getting a, a little bit more juice, but um, you know, so that's why we went through more bolts this time around. But once again, you can see the Power HD DS090 is a superb servo. It's rated about 130 ounces of torque, but it's performing as well as nearly as well as the uh, high tech that's rated at about 172 ounces of torque. Um, so it's I would be confident putting this servo in a 50% I'm sorry a 50 uh, cc plane. I've actually put this servo in the uh, Pitts biplane 50 cc. Uh, and I may experiment with, uh, because of its fast response time and strength uh, and just great characteristics, I may experiment with other 50cc planes as well. Um, the, another quick note, the servos that I get are direct from PowerHD, factory fresh. Um, you know, be cautious of buying them elsewhere because I know with uh, some of the other PowerHD servos, they've gotten, some of them have gotten a bad rap from refurbished ones or just uh, the rejected ones that have been sold on the market elsewhere. Um, the ones I'm getting are straight from them. They give me great customer service. I, I've had very few that have had any issue at all. I've uh, you know, seen one that was dead on arrival, which happens with any brand out there. Um, if you guys have any questions on them, let me know. Uh, again, mine are priced competitively and uh, you know, priced accordingly to, to being USA high quality versions. Um, we look forward to hearing from you.